This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. The Associated Press reports from Austin, a federal appeals court has cleared the way for immediate enforcement of a new abortion law in Texas. Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott had asked the three-judge panel to cut short the typical three-week waiting period between when the court issues a ruling and implementing it. The new law requires doctors to conduct a sonogram before performing an abortion to show the woman the image to play the fetal heartbeat aloud and describe the features of the fetus. Friday's order clears the way for the Texas Department of State Health Services to issue rules for complying with the law and to prosecute doctors who do not obey it. From the Associated Press in Corpus Christi, police have arrested two 15-year-old boys in connection with the robbery and fatal stabbing of a Corpus Christi woman, and prosecutors indicate that they could be charged as adults. Police found the 88-year-old woman Friday morning after neighbors reported hearing sounds from her apartment. The woman, Christine Haranjo, later died at the local hospital. Later Friday morning, an officer on patrol spotted two teens walking, one of whom matched the description of someone seen fleeing the woman's apartment. They were detained on a curfew violation and had items believed to have been taken from the woman's home. Corpus Christi County District Attorney Mark Sakurica said at a news conference that he plans to try to charge the boys as adults. From KVUE.com, a fugitive from Juarez escaped from custody of authorities in Mexico more than a year ago, is now in custody here in Texas. Authorities caught up to Cesar Vega Munoz at a fast food restaurant near El Paso. ICE agents tracked down the alleged member of a Juarez kidnapping ring after receiving a tip. This individual who was captured was an extremely violent fugitive, he said. Dennis Ulrich, ICE acting special agent in charge. He was wanted in Mexico after escaping from an ambush from a prison vehicle he was traveling in. Authorities in Mexico say the suspect escaped in December 2010 when gunmen attacked the vehicle transporting him to a court appearance. Police had arrested Vega Munoz, nicknamed El Chilin along with half a dozen other men who allegedly kidnapped business owners in Juarez and held them for ransom. Vega Munoz had been deported in April 2009 after trying to enter the country using someone else's documents. If you'd like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search Gene Key or SkyServe News. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.